the Salina Planning Commission met on July 18th and took action on seven items. The Commission approved the construction of a mini storage facility at 500 East Pacific Avenue. Rands Properties LLC is the applicant. The facility will consist of four buildings with up to a total of 28 storage units. The facility will be screened from the adjoining residential areas. Commissioners approved conditional use permits for group daycare homes at 2307 Mayfair Drive, 1828 Larson Street, and 1605 Dover Circle. Ashlyn Johnson, Jody Owen, and Alicia Thompson are the applicants. Each of these residences will now have the capacity to care for up to 12 children at one time and meet all requirements of the Health Department and the Fire Department. The Planning Commission also recommended that the City Commission approve a text amendment to the Zoning Code concerning daycare facilities. Christina Small of the United Way is the applicant. The amendment removes the requirement of daycare providers to apply for a conditional use permit to operate a group daycare home and updates definitions of various daycare operations to better align with state regulations. Commissioners approved the final plat of Lakeview Estates Edition No. 3. Stan Byquist is the applicant. The subdivision is located off of South Ohio Street, south of Magnolia Road, on the south side of the Knox Sand Pit, and consists of 15 lots. The zoning allows for a combination of single-family residences and townhomes to be built. Finally, the Planning Commission approved an amended site development plan for Long MacArthur Ford at 3450 South 9th Street. Charles Renz, on behalf of Long MacArthur Ford, is the applicant. The amended plan allows for the removal of trees on the west side of the lot, expansion of the north parking lot, and construction of an addition to the service facility on the north side of the dealership building. The next meeting of the Planning Commission is scheduled for Tuesday, August 1st at 4 p.m. in Room 107 of the City County Building. The meeting agenda will be available on the City's website, salina-ks.gov.